32 year old Taiwo Solomon applies skin bleaching agents on her body. For her, this has been a daily routine for the past 15 years. Now, several shades lighter, she says, her new skin makes her feel more beautiful and confident. I'm not seeking to be totally white. I just want to look beautiful. I can't stop using the lightening agents. In many parts of Africa, lighter skinned women are considered more beautiful and believed to be more successful and likely to find marriage. According to the World Health Organization, 8 out of 10 women in Nigeria use skin lightening products, the world's highest percentage. But it's not only women who are obsessed with bleaching their skins, men too are involved in the practice. In a market in Lagos, business is booming in shops selling skin lightening products. The shop's owner told us that she also mixes different creams for customers, depending on their desired level of lightness. So, you know, um, take the color of your skin to take it to another color, which wasn't the color you used to have. It has to be something gradual. It's not something you, you know, wake up one day and, decided, and decide, I want to be fair, I want to be like Michael Jackson, and you go Michael Jackson all of a sudden. Yeah, Famous Nigerian musician Femi Kuti says that the use of skin lightening products have given rise to their own terminology. When the bleaching propaganda was getting so negative, they had to come up with toning. So it's, see, bleaching, it sounds too hard. Now it's toning. I'm not, I don't bleach, I tone. But skin bleaching comes with hazardous health consequences. Systemically, it causes things like um, kidney failure. Because of the mercury that's involved. It also causes things like um, um, what we call renal insufficiency. You know, that's pre-renal failure. And then it causes things like um, eczema and a lot of other barrage of um, infections. Yet few seem to pay attention to these dangers. For those who bleach, staying black is not beautiful at all. Mohamed Adewal Jazeera, Lagos, Nigeria.